Can I ask you, I have to show my own bias here, what particular type of play do you more enjoy working on? A classical play or new writing? God, I, you know, in all the years, I've, nobody's ever, ever asked me that question. Um, I tell you what I look for. I tell you always what I look for in a, any job of work that I'm, I'm offered is the journey. I'm only interested in the journey. If a character doesn't have a journey, I don't want to do it. It's as simple as that. Um, I suppose, because this doesn't reflect well on me at all, but I'll tell you anyway. Because I'm Irish, um, there was a certain sense of inferiority, yeah, there you go, inferiority, um, about my ability to perform the classics. And by the classics, I meant Shakespeare and the like. I thought that that might be beyond me. So, of course, it was what I aspired to. I thought, I want to play Shakespeare. That was, above all, my aspiration. Um, because in every one of Shakespeare's plays, there is a, you can take any journey you like, but in every character, there is an inherent journey. So that's what I wanted to do, and it took me a very long time, and uh, the door was shut in my face over and over again, and I got to play my Shakespeare. But the great thing about uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company at the time I joined it is that they had a small theatre that performed uh, other works and new works. And I found that doing a new work and a Shakespeare was the best of all possible worlds. But if I were to look back on the characters I played, I would probably pick out uh, three or four for whom I grieved when I left them. And, uh, and they are both, there was male horror in uh, Our Lady of Sligo, so that was by Sebastian Barry, so that was new writing. There was Cleopatra, because I just found her so, um, I don't know, touching, actually. Uh, so, but it, it has always been for me about the journey, and I never differentiate now between new or old. I always look for new or classical, so-called. Um, I always look for the journey. Um, and I think that's what interests me about all that. Yeah. Does that metaphor of the journey, Patrick, is that, uh, would that be accurate for your estimations as well? I mean, Sinead talks about, of course, we know all about the arrival, and then there has to be the departure at the end of the journey and the mourning and the grieving. Would you find a, a correspondence to that in your own work? Yeah, I think, I think so. I, I've always been attracted to new writing um, because I, I, I believe in language uh, and, and the power of the word in performance. Uh, and, and that's just me. So I was always drawn to working with writers, which I suppose is a little unusual for directors the sort of usual power struggle of you know, writer and director and whose vision and whose voice is going to be heard. And I've never, I've never, and I only realised this quite, quite sort of late in my career, that this was particularly me. This is when I found most of my colleagues saying, you know, the only good writer is a dead writer. Uh, and, and I always felt exactly the opposite, that, that I absolutely enjoyed, loved, was animated, challenged and animated by the presence of the playwright in the rehearsal room with the actors uh, and this sense of us all making a journey. And what always fascinated me with uh, the very best writers is they never actually quite understood the journey. In some ways, the journey that they had laid out before us was as mysterious to them as it was to us. And, and so, to take on that metaphor, yeah, the journey was fascinating and complex and always had this central mystery to me that even the author didn't know the, what he got, what he, got <laughs> he or she had got. And there were aspects of the journey that were occluded to, to the author. Uh, and, and so the process, you know, this idea that, well, you, you do the words and I'll tell you where to stand and then you do your bit. 
you know, get on it. I mean, it, it, it just doesn't make any no. sense. It, 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 the journey is there for, for everyone, and, and, and of course, the final journey is, is, is with the audience. Uh, oh, yes. And, and that, you know, uh, but, but having felt that, I then was attracted to certain areas of the repertoire. And it's interesting because, uh, you know, Sinead coming from Ireland and making her career through sort of British theatre and internationally, and I sort of did the reverse. Mm -hmm. and I came from London to Dublin. And I've been 40 years working in the, in the Irish theatre. Uh, and my personal kind of interest was not in Shakespeare. In fact, I have huge problems about Shakespeare. Well, about Shakespeare production as it is in the world. Uh, and I think Shakespeare actually is essentially uh, an extraordinary love affair between him and the actors. But that's just my theory. Yeah. Uh, because he's an actor. He's, he is an actor playwright, and uh, the great joy of Shakespeare is, is for, I think, for actors. But anyway, I became fascinated in what you might term the Anglo Irish repertoire, uh, starting with a figure like Farquhar, uh, Goldsmith, Sheridan, Wilde, Shaw, uh, these writers who, in a sense, straddled the two cultures. Yeah. Um, and so, all most of my work in terms of classic repertoire, has been in that area. And, and that's a, a person, again, it's interesting how the personal privilege takes over at that. I don't know, they spoke to me in some way, because there's, there's this wonderful energy in them. There's, there's both a kind of concern, a, a tremendous formal achievement, and, and an awareness. I mean, you know, the way Farquhar's writing in the shadow of Shakespeare, and Sheridan's writing in the shadow of Farquhar and Shakespeare, and the cadences and the rhythms of the language, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're in a kind of tradition of writing which, which, which goes right back to Banksa. But there is this extraordinary other element. They're, they're all, in one sense, outsiders looking into the imperial metropolitan culture of London. They're all aware that at a certain level, they're not really it. They're on the outside looking in. Mm. But they have a mastery of the form. Uh, which is wonderful uh, and, and challenging, but at the same time, their vision is slightly skewed, and that makes it all more sort of spicy and, and interesting, if you like. But I've never, I mean, Sinead's, you know, accomplishments in Shakespeare are kind of absolutely magnificent. I've never warmed to Shakespeare so much, but I think because Shakespeare is the actor's writer. <laughs>